सो हेयर वी आर बैक अगेन विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज प्लान किंगडम इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी लुक्ड एट द ब्रॉड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स अंडर द सिस्टम प्रपोज बाय विटेकर इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी नाइन वेर इन ही सजेस्टेड द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन दैट इज मोनेरा प्रोटेस्टा फंगी एनिमेलिया एंड प्लांट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डील इन डिटेल with further classification within kingdom plantae popularly known as the plant kingdom we must stress here that our understanding of the plant kingdom has changed over time fungi and members of the monera and protista having cell walls have now been excluded from plantae the earlier classifications place them in the same kingdom so the cyanobacteria that are also referred to as a blue green algae are not algae anymore in this chapter we will describe algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms under plantae let us look at classification within angiosperms to understand some of the concerns that influenced the classification systems the earlier systems of classification used only gross superficial morphological characters such as habit color number and shape of leaves etc they were based mainly on vegetative characters or on the androecium structure bracket start system given by linnaeus bracket close such systems were artificial the 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 separated the closely related species since they were based on a few characteristics also the artificial systems gave equal weightage to vegetative and sexual characteristics this is not acceptable since we know that often the vegetative characters are more easily affected by environment as against this natural classification systems developed which were based on natural affinities among the organisms and considered not only the external features but also internal features like ultra structure anatomy embryology and phytochemistry Such a classification for flowering plants was given by George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker. At present, phylogenetic classification systems based on evolutionary relationships between the various organisms are acceptable. This assumes that organisms belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestor. We now use information from many other sources too to help resolve difficulties in classification. these become more important when there is no supporting fossil evidence numerical taxonomy which is now easily carried out using computers is based on all observable characteristics number and codes are assigned to all the characters and the data and are then processed in this way each character is given equal importance and at the same time hundreds of characters can be considered cytotaxonomy that is based on cytological information like chromosome number structure behavior and chemotaxonomy that uses the chemical constituents of the plant to resolve confusions are also used by taxonomists these days topic 3.1 algae algae are chlorophyll bearing simple thalloid autotrophic and largely aquatic bracket start both freshwater and marine bracket close organisms they occur in a variety of other habitats moist stones soils and wood some of them also occur in association with fungi that is lichen and animals example that is on sloth bear the form and the size of the algae is highly variable ranging from colonial forms like volubox and the filamentous form like eulothrix and spirogyra A few of the marine forms, such as scallops, form massive plant bodies. The algae reproduce by vegetative, asexual, and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation. Each fragment develops into a thallus. Asexual reproduction is by the production of different types of spores. The most common being the zoospores. They are flagellated. Bracket stands for motile, and on germination give rise to new plants. Sexual reproduction takes place. through fusion of two gametes these gametes can be flagellated and similar in size bracket stands for as in eulothrix 
or non flagellated that is non motile but similar in size as in spirogyra such reproduction is called isogamous fusion of two gametes dissimilar in size as in species of eudorina is termed as an isogamous fusion between one large non motile bracket stand for static female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is termed oogamous example is volvox and fucus algae are useful to men in varieties of ways at least a half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on earth is carried out by algae through photosynthesis being photosynthetic they increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their immediate environment they are of paramount paramount importance as primary producers of energy rich compounds which form the basis of food cycles of all aquatic animals many species of porphyra laminaria and sargassum are among the 70 species of marine algae used as food certain marine brown and red algae produce large amount of hydrocolloids that is bracket starts water holding substances bracket close example algin bracket stands for brown algae and keratin bracket stands for red algae which are used commercially agar one of the commercial products obtained from gallidium and gracilaria are used to grow microbes and in preparations of ice creams and jellies chlorella a unicellular alga rich in proteins is used as a food supplement even by space travelers the algae are divided into three main classes chlorophycia pheophycia and rhodophycia topic 3.1.1 chlorophycia the member of the chlorophycia are commonly called green algae the plant body may be unicellular colonial or filamentous they are usually grass green due to the dominance of the pigments chlorophyll a and b the pigments are localized in definite chloroplast the chloroplast may be disquoid plate like reticulate cup shape spiral or ribbon shaped in different species most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyranoids located in the chloroplast pyranoids contain protein besides starch some algae may store food in the form of oil droplets green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made up of an inner layer of cellulose and an outer layer of pectose Vegetative reproduction usually takes place by fragmentation or by formation of different types of spores. All sexual reproduction is by flagellated zoospores produced in zoosporangia. The sexual reproduction shows considerable variation in the type and formation of sex cells and it may be isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous. Some commonly found green algae are Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Eulothrix, Spirogyra, and Cara. Topic 3.1.2 Pheophysia. The members of Pheophysia or brown algae are found primarily in marine habitats. They show great variation in size and form. They range from simple branched filamentous forms. ectocarpus example to profusely branched forms as represented by calps which may reach a height of 100 meters they possesses chlorophyll a c carotenoids and xanthophylls they vary in color from olive green to various shades of brown depending upon the amount of the xanthophyll pigment fucoxanthin present in them food is stored as complex carbohydrates which may be in the form of laminarin or mannitol the vegetative cells have a cellulosic wall usually covered on the outside by a gelatinous coating of algae the protoplast contains in addition to plastids a centrally located vacuole and nucleus the plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a hold fast and has a stalk the stipe and the leaf like photosynthetic organs the frond vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation or sexual reproduction in most brown algae is by biflagellated zoospores that are pear shaped and have 
टू अनइक्वल लैटरली अटैच फ्लैजला सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन मे बी आइसोगैमस अनाइसोगैमस और ऊगैमस यूनियन ऑफ गैमेट्स मे टेक प्लेस इन वाटर और विद इन द ऊगोनियम ब्रैकेट सेंस फॉर ऊगैमस स्पीसीज द गैमेट्स आर पायरीफॉर्म ब्रैकेट सेंस फॉर पियर शेप्ड एंड बियर टू लेटरली अटैच फ्लैजला द कॉमन फॉर्म्स आर एक्टोकापस डिक्टियोटा लमिनेरिया सरगसम एंड फ्यूकस टॉपिक थ्री पॉइंट वन पॉइंट थ्री रोडोफाइसिया द मेम्बर्स ऑफ रोडोफाइसिया आर कॉमनली कॉल्ड रेड एलगे बिकॉज ऑफ द प्री डोमिनेंस ऑफ द रेड पिगमेंट आर फाइको एरेथ्रिन इन देयर बॉडी मेजोरिटी ऑफ द रेड एलगे आर मराइन विथ ग्रेटर कंसेंट्रेशन फाउंड इन द वार्मर एरियाज दे ऑकर इन बोथ वेल लाइटेड रीजन्स क्लोज टू द सर्फेस ऑफ वाटर एंड ऑल्सो एट अ ग्रेट डेप्थ इन ओशन वेयर रिलेटिवली लिटिल लाइट पेनिट्रेट्स द रेड थाले ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ द रेड एलगे आर मल्टी सेलुलर सम ऑफ दैम हैव कॉम्प्लेक्स बॉडी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द फूड इज स्टोर्ड एज अ फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च विच इज वेरी सिमिलर टू एमेलो माइनोपैक्टीन एंड ग्लाइकोजन इन स्ट्रक्चर द रेड एलगे यूजली रिप्रोड्यूस वेजिटेटिवली बाय फ्रेगमेंटेशन दे रिप्रोड्यूस अ सेक्शुअली बाय नॉन मोटाइल स्पोर्स एंड सेक्शुअली बाय नॉन मोटाइल गैमेट्स सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऊ गैमस एंड अ कंपनीड बाय कॉम्प्लेक्स पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट द कॉमन मेम्बर्स आर पॉलिसिफोनिया पोरीफायरा ग्रासी लेरिया एंड गैलीडियम नाउ वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द टेबल थ्री पॉइंट वन दैट इज डिविजन ऑफ एल गे एंड देयर मेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स द हॉरिजोंटल रोज एंड द फर्स्ट रो कंजिस्ट ऑफ क्लोरोफाइसिया सेकेंड रो फियोफाइसिया एंड द थर्ड रो कंजिस्ट ऑफ रोडोफाइसिया द वर्टिकल कॉलम कंजिस्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट क्लासेस सेकेंड कॉमन नेम third major pigments fourth stored food fifth cell wall sixth flagellar number and position of insertion and seventh habitat starting for starting from chlorophycia common name green algae major pigments chlorophyll a and b stored food starch cell wall cellulose flagellar number and position of insertions 2 to 8 equal and apical habitat fresh water brackish water salt water second pheophysia common name brown algae major pigments chlorophyll a c phycoxanthin stored food mannitol laminarin cell wall cellulose and algae flagellar number and position of insertions two unequal lateral habitat fresh water brackish stands for rarely brackish water and salt water third rhodophysia common name red algae major pigments chlorophyll a d phycoerythrin stored food floridian starch cell wall cellulose pectin and polysulfate esters flagellar number and position of insertions absent habitat fresh water brackish stands for some brackish water and salt water brackish stands for mostly topic 3.2 bryophytes bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills bryophytes are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction they usually occur in damp humid and shaded localities they play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks slash soil The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They lack true roots, stems, 
and leaves. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. The main plant body of the bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence is, a, is called a gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called anthridium. They produce biflagellated anthrozoids. The female sex organ called archegonium is flask shaped and produce a single egg. The anthrozoids are released into water where they come in contact with archegonium. An anthrozoid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called a sporophyte. The sporophyte is not free living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division brackets stand for meiosis to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. Bryophytes in general are of little economic importance but some mosses provide food for herbaceous mammals, birds and other animals. Species of sphagnum, a moss, provide pit that have long been used as fuel and as packaging material for transshipment of living material because of their capacity to hold water. Mosses along with lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance. They decompose rocks making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants. Since mosses form dense mats on the soil, they reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent soil erosion. The bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses. Topic 3.2.1 Liverworts The liverworts grow usually in moist, shady habitats such as banks of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark or trees and deep in the woods. The plant body of a liverwort is thalloid. Example, Marcantia. The thallus is dorsiventral and closely appressed to the substrate. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Asexual reproduction in liverworts takes place by fragmentation of thalli or by the formation of specialized structures called gamma brackets stand for singular form gamma gamma are green multicellular asexual birds which develop in small receptacles called gamma cups located on the thallus the gamma become detached from the parent body and germinate to form new individuals during sexual reproduction male and female sex organs are produced either on the same or on different thalli. The sporophyte is differentiated into foot, sitha and capsule. After meiosis, spores are produced within the capsule. These spores germinate to form free living gametophytes. Topic 3.2.2 Mosses The predominant stage of the life cycle of a moss is the gametophyte which consists of two stages. The first stage is the protonema stage which develops directly from a spore. It is a creeping green branched and frequently filamentous stage. The second stage is the leafy stage which develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bird. They consist of upright slender axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. They are attached to the soil through multicellular and branch rhizoids. This stage bears the sex organ. Vegetative reproduction in mosses is by fragmentation and budding in the secondary protonema. In sexual reproduction, the sex organs anthridia and archegonia are produced at the apex of the leafy shoots. After fertilization, the zygote develops into a sporophyte consisting of a food cetine capsule. The sporophyte in mosses is more elaborate than that in liverworts. The capsule contains spores. Spores are formed after meiosis. 
The mosses have an elaborate mechanism of spore dispersal. Common examples of mosses are Phanaria, Polytrichum, and Sphagnum. Topic 3.3 Pteridophytes. The pteridophytes include horse tails and ferns. Pteridophytes are used for medicinal purposes and as soil binders. They are also frequently grown as ornamentals. Evolutionarily, they are the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues, that is xylem and phloem. You shall study more about these tissues in chapter 6. The pteridophytes are found in cool, damp, shady places, though some may flourish well in sandy soil conditions. You may recall that in bryophytes, dominant phase in the life cycle is the gametophyte plant body. However, in pteridophytes, the main plant body is a sporophyte, which is differentiated into true root, stem and leaves. These organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues. The leaves in pteridophyta are small, bracket stands for microfils, as in selaginella, or large, bracket stands for macrophils, as in ferns. The sporophytes bear sporangia that are subtended by a leaf-like appendages called sporophylls. In some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structures called strobili or cones, bracket stands for slaginella equisetum. The sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cell. The spores germinate to give rise to inconspicuous, small, but multicellular, free-living, mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophytes called prothallus. These gametophytes require cool, damp, shady places to grow. Because of this specific restricted requirement and the need for water for fertilization, the spread of living pteridophytes is limited and restricted to narrow geographical regions. The gametophytes bear male and female sex organs called anthridia and archegonia respectively. Water is required for transfer of anthrozoites. The male gametes are released from the anthridia to the mouth of archegonium. Fusion of male gamete with the egg present in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote. Zygote thereafter produces a multicellular well differentiated sporophyte which is the dominant phase of pteridophytes. In majority of the pteridophytes all the spores are of similar kind. Such plants are called homospores. Genera like Slaginella and Salvinia which produce two kind of spores macro that is large and micro small are known as heterospores. The megaspores and microspores germinate and give rise to female and male gametophytes respectively. The female gametophytes in these plants are retained on the parent sporophytes for variable periods. The development of the zygotes into young embryos take place within the female gametophytes. This event is a precursor to the seed habit considered an important step in evolution. The pteridophytes are further classified into four classes. Silopsida, bracket stand for Silotum, Lycopsida, bracket stands for Slaginella and Lycopodium, Phenopsida, bracket stand for Equisetum, and Teropsida, bracket stands for Dryopteris, Teres, and Adianthum. Topic 3.4 Gymnosperms. The gymnosperms, bracket stands for Gymnos, which means naked, and Sperma, which means seeds are plants in which the ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall and remain exposed both before and after fertilization. The seeds that develop post-fertilization are not covered, that is, are naked. Gymnosperms include medium-sized trees or tall trees and shrubs. One of the gymnosperms, the giant redwood tree Sequoia, is one of the tallest tree species. The roots are generally tap roots. Roots in some genera have fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza, brackets stand for pinus, while in some other brackets stand for cycus, 
small specialized roots called corolloid roots are associated with nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria the stems are unbranched as in cycas or branched as is as in pinus and citrus the leaves may be simple or compound in cycas the pinnate leaves persist for a few years the leaves in gymnosperm are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature humidity and wind in conifers the needle like leaves reduces the surface area their thick cuticle and sunken stomata also help to reduce water loss the gymnosperms are heterospores they produce haploid microspores and megaspores the two kinds of spores are produced within sporangia that are borne on sporophylls which are arranged spirally along an axis to form legs or compact strobili or cones the strobili bearing microsporophylls and microsporangia are called microsporangiate or male strobili the microspores develop into a male gametophytic generation which is highly reduced and is confined to only a limited number of cells this reduced gametophyte is called a pollen grain the development of pollen grains takes place within the microsporangia the cones bearing megasporophylls with ovules or megasporangia are called macrosporangiate or female strobili the male or female cones or strobili may be born on the same tree as in pinus however in cycas male cones and megasporophylls are born on different trees the megaspore mother cell is differentiated from one of the cells of the new cells the new cell is, is protected by envelop and the composite structure is called an ovule the ovules are born on megasporophylls which may be clustered to form the female cones the megaspore mother cell divides meiotic meiotically to form four megaspores one of the megaspores enclosed within the megasporangium develops into a multicellular female gametophyte that bears two or more archegonia or female sex organs the multicellular female gametophyte is also retained within megasporangium unlike bryophytes and pteridophytes in gymnosperms the male and the female gametophytes do not have an independent free living existence they remain within the sporangia retained on the sporophytes the pollen grain is released from the microsporangium they are carried in air currents and come in contact with the opening of the ovules born on megasporophylls the pollen tube carrying the male gametes grow towards archegonia in the ovules and discharge their contents near the mouth of the archegonia following fertilization zygote develops into an embryo and the ovules into seeds these seeds are not covered topic 3.5 angiosperms unlike the gymnosperms where the ovules are naked in the angiosperms or flowering plants the pollen grains and ovules are developed in specialized structure called flowers in angiosperms the seeds are enclosed in fruits the angiosperms are an exceptionally large group of plants occurring in wide range of habitats they range in size from the smallest wolfia to tall trees of eucalyptus bracket starts over 100 meters bracket closed they provide us with food fodder fuel medicines and several other commercially important products they are divided into two classes the dicotyledons and the monocotyledons the dicotyledons are characterized by seeds having two cotyledons reticulate venations in leaves and tetramerous or pentamerous flowers that is having four or five members in each floral whorls the monocotyledons on the other hand are characterized by single cotyledons seeds parallel venation in leaves and trimerous flowers having three members in each floral whorls the male sex organ in a flower is the stamen 
Each stamen consists of a slender filament with an anther at the tip. Within the anthers, the pollen mother cell divide by meiosis to produce microspores, which mature into pollen grains. The female sex organ in a flower is the pistil. Pistil consists of a swollen ovary at its base, a long slender style and stigma. Inside the ovary, ovules are present. Generally, each ovule has a megaspore mother cell that undergoes meiosis to form four haploid megaspores. Three of them degenerate and one divide to form the embryo sac. Each embryo sac has a three-celled egg apparatus, one egg cell and two synergies, three antipodal cells and two polar nuclei. The polar nuclei eventually fuse to produce a diploid secondary nucleus. Pollen grains after dispersal from the anthers are carried by wind of various other agencies, wind or various other agencies to the stigma of a pistil. This is termed as pollination. The pollen grains germinate on the stigma and the resulting pollen tubes grow through the tissues of the stigma and style and reach the ovule. The pollen tubes enter the embryo sac where two male gametes are discharged. One of the male gametes fuses with the X cell (brackets stand for syngamy) to form a zygote. The other male gamete fuses with the diploid secondary nucleus to produce the triploid primary endosperm nucleus (brackets stand for pen or pen). Because of the occurrence of two fusions, that is syngamy and triple fusion, these this event is termed as double fertilization, an event unique to angiosperms. The zygote develops into an embryo. Bracket starts with one or two cotyledons. Bracket close, and the pen develops into endosperm, which produces, which provides nourishment to the developing embryo. The synergids and antipodals degenerate after fertilization. During these events, the ovules develop into seeds, and the ovaries develop into fruit. The life cycle of an angiosperm is shown. In Figure three point six. Topic three point six: Plant life cycles and alternation of generations. In plants, both haploid and diploid cells can divide by mitosis. This ability leads to the formation of different plant bodies, haploid and diploid. The haploid plant body produces gametes by mitosis. This plant body represents a gametophyte. Following fertilization, the zygote also divides by mitosis to produce a diploid sporophytic plant body. Haploid spores are produced by this plant body by meiosis. These in turn divide by mitosis to form a haploid plant body once again. Thus, during the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, there is an alternation of generations between gamete-producing haploid gametophyte and spore-producing diploid sporophyte. However, different plant groups as well as individuals representing them differ in the following patterns. Number one, sporophytic generation is represented only by the one-cell zygote. There are no free living sporophytes. Meiosis in the zygote results in the formation of haploid spores. The haploid spores divide mitotically and form the gametophyte. The dominant photosynthetic phase in such plants is the free living gametophyte. This kind of life cycle is termed as haplontic. Many algae such as Volvox, Spirogera. and some species of chlamydomonas represent this pattern number 2 on the other extreme is the type where the diploid sporophyte is the dominant photosynthetic independent phase of the plant the gametophytic phase is represented by the single to few celled haploid gametophyte this kind of life cycle is termed as diplontic an alga Fucus species represents this pattern. In addition, all seed-bearing plants, that is, gymnosperms and angiosperms, follow this pattern with some variations, where the gametophyte phase is few to multi-celled. Number third, 
bryophytes and pteridophytes interestingly exhibit an intermediate condition bracket stands for haplodiplontic both phases are multicellular however they differ in their dominant phases a dominant independent photosynthetic thalloid or erect phase is represented by a haploid gametophyte and it alternates with the short lived multicellular sporophyte totally or partially dependent on the gametophyte for its anchorage and nutrition all bryophytes represent this pattern the diploid sporophyte is represented by a dominant independent photosynthetic vascular plant body it alternates with multicellular saprophytic slash autotrophic independent but short lived haploid gametophyte such a pattern is known as haplodiplontic life cycle all pteridophytes exhibit this pattern interestingly while most algal genera are haplontic some of them such as ectocarpus polysiphonia kelps are haplodiplontic fucus and alga is diplontic summary plant kingdom includes algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms algae are chlorophyll bearing simple thalloid autotrophic and largely aquatic organisms depending on the type of pigment possessed and the type of storage stored food algae are classified into three classes namely chlorophycia pheophycia and rhodophycia algae usually reproduce vegetatively by fragmentation asexually by formation of different types of spores and sexually by formation of gametes which may show isogamy and isogamy or oogamy it's are plants which can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction their plant body is more differentiated than that of algae it is thallus like and prostate or erect and attached to the substratum by rhizoids they possess root like leaf like and stem like structures the bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses The plant body of liverworts is thalloid and dorsiventral whereas mosses have upright cylinder axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. The main plant body of a bryophyte is gamete producing and is called a gametophyte. It bears the male, male sex organs called anthridia and female sex organs called archegonia. The male and female gametes produced fuse to form zygote which produces a multicellular body called a sporophyte it produces haploid spores the spores germinate to form gametophytes in pteridophytes the main plant is a sporophyte which is differentiated into true root stem and leaves these organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues the sporophytes bear sporangia which produce spores the spores germinate to form gametophytes which require cool damp places to grow the gametophytes bear male and female sex organs called anthridia and archegonia respectively water is required for transfer of male gametes to archegonium where zygote is formed after fertilization the zygote produces a sporophyte The gymnosperms are the plants in which ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall. After fertilization, the seeds remain exposed and therefore these plants are called naked seeded plants. The gymnosperms produce microspores and megaspores which are produced in microsporangia and megasporangia born on the sporophase. The sporophylls, microsporophylls and megasporophylls are arranged spirally on axis to form male and female cones respectively. The pollen grain germinates and pollen tube releases the male gamete into the ovule where it fuses with the egg cell in archegonia. Following fertilization, the zygote develops into embryo and the ovules into seeds. In angiosperms the male sex organ bracket stands for stamen and female sex organs bracket stands for pistil are born in a flower 
Each stamen consists of a filament and an anther. The anther produces pollen grains, bracket stands for male gametophyte, after meiosis. The pistil consists of an ovary enclosing, enclosing one to many ovules. Within the ovule is the female gametophyte or embryo sac which contains the egg cell. The pollen tube enters the embryo sac where two male gametes are discharged. One male gamete fuses with egg cell, bracket stands for syngamy, and the other fuses with diploid secondary nucleus, bracket stands for triple fusion. This phenomena of two fusions is called double fertilization and is unique to angiosperms. The angiosperms are divided into two classes, the dicotyledons and the monocotyledons. During the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, there is alternation of generations between gamete producing haploid gametophyte and spore producing diploid sporophyte. However, different plant groups as well as individuals may show different patterns of life cycles that is haplontic, diplontic or intermediate. So this is the end of the chapter that is plant kingdom.